Good morning, you beauties. What have you got for me today? I'm Chris Thacker, and this is The Curiosity Show from the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. Today, we're in fishes. This is my section where I spend most of my time. And this is also where we keep all of our lovely fish specimens all dead and delightful in their jars. We've got fishes from all around the world, but we specialize in fishes from the Eastern Pacific right off our coast. We've got a temperate ocean, and the coast can be rocky, sandy, or muddy. But we've got something very unusual, giant kelp forests all off our coast. These big brown seaweeds support an ecosystem of fish and invertebrates that is unique in all the world. And today, we're gonna take a look at some of the fishes that live there. I've got some assistance with me today to help show these fishes. With me first is Mary Simon. She's a museum fellow, longtime museum supporter. She's also a marine biologist and educator and very interested in ocean conservation and has done a fair amount of diving off our coast. So we've got a fish here that you might see in California in the kelp forest. What is this, Mary? This handsome little rascal is a gopher rockfish. Yeah. The rock fishes are a group of fishes that's found around the world. They're in the genus Sebastes. They like temperate oceans. They love our kelp forest. And here in Southern California, we have the highest diversity of anywhere in the world. We have more than 60 species living here. Rock fishes are just sort of splendid looking. They've got spines on their head. They've got big spines in their fins. Now, Mary, you've seen rock fishes while diving, right? Many species. Many different species, right. And when you see these, I mean, they are they friendly? <laughs> they're, they're actually generally kind of shy. They tend to camouflage very well on the rocks, so we go searching for them because oh. it's easy to swim right over them and not even see them. Okay, yeah, you know, that kind of makes sense. With me also is Amazon Beard. Amazon is also a museum fellow, longtime member, and marine biology supporter. And we have here examples of our California state marine fish, the Garibaldi. So it doesn't look like much right now. The color has faded. In life, these are bright orange and easy to see in the kelp forest, even from the surface. And now, Amazon, you've seen these just from the shore, right? Yes, ma'am. As like a, a natural angelino that likes to go down to the piers or the beaches, wherever there's a, a kelp bed. And actually, the Garibaldi are especially interesting for a couple of reasons. Number one, these are damselfishes, and that's a kind of fish that's normally tropical. There's only a couple species that get this far north into our temperate waters. Most of them are found farther south. And damselfishes have some very strange behaviors. They guard a territory, and they can be very, very aggressive. And I have had these bright orange fishes actually dive bomb me, like actually whack <laughs> my mask when I'm diving. And it's completely hilarious because look at this. It's this pugnacious little face. It's a tiny little mouth. They're harmless. So these are our steel tanks. These are where we keep specimens that are too big to fit in a gallon jar, such as our local California bat rays. This is what they look like. Look at this. This is a kind of stingray. They do have a stinger, but they usually swim off the bottom. So they, we can see them in the kelp forest swimming in great big schools. They actually fly with these broadened wings. Rockfish, Garibaldi, and bat rays are native to our kelp forests off our coast. But lately, especially this past year, we've been getting some visitors from the warmer waters to the south. This is due to El Nino. Our ocean's been especially warm. And there have been all kinds of weird things showing up that aren't normally found here. Bluefin and yellowfin tuna, different kinds of jacks, marlins, mahi-mahi, and every now and then, hammerhead sharks. This is just a pup, just a baby of a smooth hammerhead. This is the kind that has been recently seen off Huntington Beach. They're just really odd looking creatures. They've got this wide expanded head. They've got their eyes on either side, which gives them a wide range of view. We've also been getting some butterfly fishes, and these are normally tropical fishes. This is the three-banded butterfly fish, and we also have got a beautiful guy, yeah, called the scythe mark butterfly fish. These will pair bond. The two of them will form a territory, and they will guard it. And I have seen these uh, diving off Catalina a couple years back. They're not normally found here. Thanks very much. Thanks, Mary and Amazon, for coming and helping us show off all these kelp forest fishes.